In this quick tutorial, we're just going to discuss buttons and state variables. So let's go ahead and get started by creating a new Xcode project. We're going to name this Xcode. First, we're going to choose a single view app. We're going to name it Button Tutorial. I'm going to make sure I'm using the language of Swift and the user interface Builder Swift UI. I always keep all these checked and we'll continue on forward. I save it to my desktop, I'll create it there. And the first thing we'll do, we'll get right into creating a button. So I like to pick buttons out from here because it has everything ready to go. I can just drag and drop the button into my view. And I'll go ahead and get rid of the default text, hello world. And what I'm going to do is I'm going uh, to change this to say, I'm going to make it say, click me. And the action that we'll have it do is we will have it print the word hi. And that's just temporary. We're actually going to have to do something else momentarily, but let's just go ahead and see what we get here. What we should get, as you see, is a button that says click me. So in another tutorial, we discussed H stacks and V stacks. So what we're going to do is we're going to embed this button inside of a V stack or a vertical stack that lets us put things on top of each other vertically. And so above this V, above the button, we're going to put an image and we're going to, the image we're going to use, we're going to use an SF symbol. And that SF symbol, uh, sorry, the SF symbol will uh, be a uh, heart. So that is exactly what we're looking for. And I have another video discussing SF symbols as well. Uh, so you can find those videos in the description below. And so now we have an image of a heart and we have this button. And so what I want to do is I want to create a variable. And that variable is going to be a state variable. So a state variable is what allows us to essentially monitor um, the, you know, the condition or the state of this view. So it's something that when it changes, anything that references it will be aware that it changes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a state variable and I'm going to name it love. And it's going to be equal to false. And what I want to do is every time I click on this button, I'm going to go ahead and remove the print high and I'm going to have it say love dot toggle. And so what I'm really saying is that every single time I press this button, I want to toggle love on and off. And I need to make sure I say self dot love because we're inside of the action portion of a button. So I need to toggle love from false to true and true to false every time I click the button. So if I execute this, it'll surely do that. And it'll just take a second here. We'll click resume. But the reality of the situation is that I'll have no way of actually monitoring whether it's true or false right now. I can click this all day long and I have no idea whether this is true or false. So what I can do instead is I can say, instead of saying the image is going to be hard, I can say if love is equal to true, then I want to have an image of a heart that's filled. And if it's not true, then I want just the image of the heart. And so what I can do now is I can try clicking it. Make sure we get this working. So now when I click me, it's toggling it from true to false. And I can essentially monitor that now by the state of this button. So whether if it's showing me heart, that, so if I see this heart that's not filled, I must be in here, which means that love must not equal true. And that's how I can monitor the state through, through an image, and that's how I can modify the state with a button. So if it says heart, if I have a filled heart, then this is heart.fill. And just one quick um, review. If you want, you can actually download the SF Symbols app from Apple. And that goes ahead and it shows you all these icons that Apple gave us by default. So we can refer to these by name. If I just search for them, I can find heart and heart.fill. So that's where I got the name for this. Heart.fill is this one, and heart right here is this one. All right? If you have any questions, just shoot me a message below, and please don't forget to subscribe. That's how it keeps us going. All right? Have a good one.